Hi everybody, um, back again and I'm asked, answering a couple of questions that have been asked about the Bloomfields Kickstarter. So let's jump straight on in. What we've got here is a selection of the miniatures and one of the questions that's come up is the brittleness of the resin. Will the arms of the goblins and dwarves snap under pressure? Some resin is quite brittle. Um, so what I've done is I've taken this little bit of sprue that's come off of these miniatures here uh, just to demonstrate that there's quite a lot of give in our resin and this bit is a lot thinner than the arms of the goblins. So you can bend it and you can apply heat to it and leave it to rest. Use a cup of boiling water, uh, stick, the, uh, stick the resin in there for just a couple of seconds and it will become nice and soft. Bend it into whatever position you want and then just leave it set. So the answer is not brittle, malleable and strong. Next question. Speed painting your skeleton goblins. Well, last night after putting the kids to bed I managed to get some paint onto the gobbers and pokers and I'm pretty happy with the results after just half an hour of painting. Uh, that's pretty much all it took and yeah it's it's um, a really good, good result. So how to do this in about half an hour? Plain and simply spray the entire miniature with army painter bone spray and that's you know half the battle there and then i then took army painter strong tone this is a ink wash i added a little bit of water to it just just a little bit and coated the entire miniature in it and this is the result that you get so that goes into all the rib cages and all the nice deep recesses then i took my Terminus stone, uh, which is dry, and taken off most of the paint off the brush, so getting a, a good level of um, paint on the brush for a dry brushing. I just coated, just went over the entire miniature, and just using this, and this is the result, which I'm pretty happy with. And for most people, you could stop there. You can then if you wanted to add a little bit of white to the mix and do a, a lighter dry brush and that's essentially what I did with this guy you can't really see it very well apologies for the quality of the camera and you can then go on to do line highlighting in just pure white which you know you'd pick out the end of the teeth or the, the nose or the eye socket you know stuff like that so that's my speed painting and that didn't take very much time at all Bonefields will come with a tutorial from David Stafford which will teach you or show you how he's done painting on on the, the bones here and this is just a whole whole different level but he's got shot by shot and a really good guide to follow. And these are just beautiful. I'm over the moon with the result on those. However, for the half an hour job that I did on these, I'm pretty happy with those. So I will be painting some more up tonight. Maybe get this, maybe get this guy finished off and uh, check in tomorrow and see what happens. Thanks very much, and uh, yeah, Bonefields are still running, 29 days to go, go and have a look, I'm sure we've got something there that you'd uh, like.